my son to me. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hello, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Lord and Savior. This is Evangelist Brother Elmo Saraparu, and this is the Chapel of Love Ministries. Praise God. Almighty God and Father, bless your holy words as it goes forth today. Let it lift up and inspire and encourage all those who are here. Let it bring glory to your name. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We'll be speaking today on Jesus Christ, how he, how he has chosen his 12 disciples. Praise God. We find us in Luke 14, 25 to 27. He called his disciples. And there went a great multitude with him. And he turned and he said unto them, If any man come after me, and hate not his father, and his mother, and his wife, and his children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, in his own life also he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross, and come after me, cannot be my disciple. This message Jesus gave his disciples seems very hard and very harsh and very hard to understand. But we'll all know that at times Jesus spoke in parables. This message indeed is not a parable. It is straightforward and right to the point. And Jesus wanted his disciples and anyone else who decided to follow him that he expect them to love him and to truly give up this worldly life and follow him. And Jesus said, if you come and follow him, and hate not your brother, your mother, your father, your wife, your children, your sisters and brothers, and even yourself. He said, unless you take up your cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. When first Jesus said this saying, to follow me and, and hate not your mother, your wife, your children, your brother, and your sister, and also yourself, when you hear this message, is when you read your Bible. When you come to this passage, you might think to yourself, I don't want to hate anyone. I don't understand why. Jesus said this to his disciples in this way because he had a good reason to. So let's look at the, the word hate. First of all, the word hate is it's a verb. To hate is to do something. To hate is to have strong dislike or ill for a person or thing. But it also has, has another meaning. Sometimes some fathers and some mothers and sometimes sisters and brothers and even ourselves. Oftentimes we do, we do stupid and foolish and ignorant things that are sinful. My friend, if we are not born again, we will indeed do sinful things and foolish and stupid things at times that are hateful and sometimes sinful. This is the reason why Jesus said that we must be born again. This way we'll be free from sin. Being born again, Jesus kept, he will keep you from falling back into your own ba old bad habits. When you receive Jesus into your heart as Lord and Savior, you'll walk in a newness of life with truth righteousness, and holiness. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God loves us, and Jesus Christ loves us. So this is what God has for us, is love, not hate. This word hate is also, it means to avoid. If you hate your job, you're going to avoid it. This is what I think Jesus is saying. Whosoever is not a follower of me is living in sin. So if your father, your mother, your sister, your wife, or your children, your brother, if they're not born again, of course, they could be living in sin. God will indeed avoid us until we repent of our sins and come and receive his son, Jesus Christ, into our heart as our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. You see, God wants to, us to love one another, not hate. So this is what Jesus was speaking of to avoid sin. And that every kind of evil, we must have a strong dislike for sin. In John 15, 11, in God's word, this is, what, this is my commandment that you love one another. 
as I have loved you. Greater love had no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatsoever I have command you. Yes, my friend, love is the answer. In Luke 14, 27, And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. You see, my friend, we are going to go through some things at times that we don't understand. You might get sick. You might lose your job. You might fall down and injure yourself. And you'll often wonder why. You say, why me? That's the question, why? Praise God. But God is telling you one thing. Remember what God said in his blessed holy word in, in John in, in, in Romans 8.28. All things work together for good to them that love God and to them to those that are called according to his purpose. So if you love God and these things might be happening in your life, God can be speaking to you. We must trust God. Trust him and praise him in all things. Thank you, Jesus. God is working things out for you. He's working in your behalf. Jesus sent them to preach and that they departed preaching the gospel everywhere. In Luke 9, 26, where Jesus Christ went multitudes followed him and hoped to touch him. For they went virtue out of him and healed and he healed all, all of them. That was in Luke 6, 19. Praise God. Jesus gave of himself. He gave of himself. And our service must be the same, to give of ourselves. We see Jesus. He has power over disease and death in Luke 7, 1, 17. We know he is the sinner's friend because he died for us all. He wants to save us. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. In John and Luke 19:10. So my friend, if you are lost and you need a, a new way of life, you need a purpose and direction, there is help. Yes, Jesus is looking for you. He wants to save you and to, to help you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. He's called, he called a friend. He was called a friend of the public and then of sinners in Luke 7, 34. Jesus taught his disciples and trained them to carry the message in Luke 6, 12, 14. 6, 12 to 6, 16. Whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. In Luke 14, 27. Whosoever he be of you that forsake not all that he hath cannot be my disciple. That's in Luke 14, 33. My friend, Jesus is speaking to you. Are you ready to follow him? Are you ready to give up the sin in your life? The loss of the eye, the loss of the flesh? The lust of the world, pride of life, greed, fornication, adultery. Are you angry with your brother or your sister, maybe someone, other member of your family? All these things are sin. To be jealous and to have unforgiveness in your heart. Ask yourself this question. I'm happy with my life and the way things have been going. Do you love your wife? Do you love your children? Do you show them love and affection? Do you take your wife and your children out on occasion? Maybe to the park or maybe to dining or maybe to visit some other family members. I hope and pray that you take them to church and pray together. I know that you heard it before that the family that prays together stays together. Yes, my friend, it is time for a change. Ask Jesus to come into your heart and to save you. He will because he loves you. It says, you will just repeat this after me, my friend. Say this to Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and into my life and save me. I need your forgiveness. I'm sorry for my sins and the way I've been acting. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Save me. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to help you. Always serve him and continue to be obedient and faithful to him. Go to church, read your Bible, pray for your family, pray for the people in your church, pray for your president and, and the country that you might, might have peace in the world. 
pray for yourself that you will be continue to be obedient and faithful to God. Oh, praise God. God is going to change your life, my friend. As you said those blessed holy words, you're asking the Lord for forgiveness. He will guide and direct you. He'll give you his Holy Spirit to love and to serve him, to love others, to serve them. You'll have a new life in Christ. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. My friend, thank you for listening. Thank you for saying that prayer. Praise God. We are out of time now. God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. This is Evangelist Brother Elmo Sarapro. Until next time, go in peace and love and serve God and each other. And God bless you. Amen. Amen. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty God in three persons bless the Trinity.